there's like a race going on right now to try to find an effective treatment. Shouldn't this have been done beforehand? I mean, we're doing this right in the middle of the outbreak. Shouldn't we have been testing these drugs and looking for treatments before we got in the middle of an outbreak? Well, this is a new virus, and so this is not something that we could have tested. This is this virus is not one that has has been known to mankind, you know, up until up until it was discovered fairly recently. There have been uh, multiple times in in history, and particularly with SARS and MERS, if we're talking about coronaviruses, but also with Ebola, where there were vaccine trials going on. Um, but the problem is. It's difficult to do vaccine trials when there aren't a lot of cases. And so if, you know, when, when these vaccine trials are coming up, there may be an outbreak going on, but by the time they really get geared up, there may not be a lot of cases of those illnesses anymore. And so it's very difficult to study a vaccine when there aren't any cases of the illness. And, and then often uh, funding does dry up. So people get very excited about, you know, let's find a vaccine for Ebola when there's an Ebola outbreak. But then after the outbreak is over, then people forget about it. And they say, well, let's take that money and use it somewhere else. And there's always something new. You know, if you think about um, Ebola, Zika is a good example of that. You know, people's attention turns a different way and the funding mechanism goes away. And that's unfortunate because then we, we may never find, you know, a vaccine to some of these illnesses that, you know, and it, it may come back to, to hurt us in the future. So we really need to make sure that when we're funding research that we think in the long term and not necessarily uh, just fund you know in the short term while that outbreak is going on but also continue that work um, even after the outbreak is over with.